Today we're going to talk about the mount prosthetic knee. It's one of the best knees available today and it's been around time-tested model for years and years. The mount knee has some unique features uh, due to the, to the design of the knee. Inside of the knee there is a hydraulic cylinder that allows the knee to regulate between stance phases of gait and swing phases of gait. Some of the special features of the mouth knee include the way that it can recover from a stumble. It's called stumble recovery. So the knee has resistance if you are to trip. Uh, the knee will provide some resistance and allow you to catch your balance, hopefully. That's the goal. Uh, the knee also, due to that, can provide resistance when you sit in a chair. So you can use the knee to slowly lower yourself to a chair rather than using your sound limb and the muscles in that leg. When going downstairs, you can use the resistance in the knee to slowly lower yourself step over step. There are very few prosthetic knees available that allow you to do that. The mount, is, the mount prosthetic knee is one of them. It also adjusts to different cadences. So if you're going to walk fast or slow, there's a wide range of gait that the knee can be adjusted to. There are adjustments that your prosthetist can make on the back of the knee that allow you to dial it in for each person's unique needs. It's one of the best knees uh, out there today, and uh, Robert is going to demonstrate just a little bit of those features now. We'll show you a few clips illustrating those, those particular features. So one of the first things we'll demonstrate is the stumble recovery. So Robert will take a step and show you what would happen if by chance you caught the toe or, or you didn't completely lock the knee before putting weight on it. So we'll just take a step and show them how um, we can provide some resistance, hold the bars so we don't have a fall. So if you were to catch the toe there, yeah, he can quickly catch his balance. Another feature of the mount knee is it has a, a free a free wheeling mode, so to speak. This is often used when using a bike. So you can essentially disengage the hydraulic cylinder here and let the knee be used while riding a bike. To do that, you weight the prosthetic foot, typically you'll weight the toe, and you'll flip this lever up. Now when you do that, you can see the knee is completely free and would allow you to easily ride a bike. The next feature that's available with this same lever is, um, so when the lever's down, it's, it's in normal mode. If you flip the lever without weight on the foot, when the knee is straight, you can lock the knee so it will not bend. For example, if you were going to stand on a long line at an amusement park or anywhere else, it can be locked out for safety. You don't have to think about keeping the knee straight. So it's a very neat feature. And again, when you're finished with those features, you can just flip the lever down and it goes back to normal prosthetic mode. So the knee also can be used to walk slowly and it adapts to a nice slow gait. And if you walk more quickly, the hydraulic will provide resistance that allows you to change the speed of your gait.